Okay, it's a bit warm today, so I've got the window open. So if you hear it, a bit of outside noise, it's the windows are open. I've got the purifier on. I've turned the fan off because it was too noisy. So we're gonna just uh, jump in and play some uh, casual games. Uh, Thirty minutes, dropping down to five minutes, then the three minute, then the two minute, one second game, just to have a little bit of fun with these games. Okay, so let's crack on. 30 minute 10 second game this one is obviously the um, seek is going to take a while so I may pause it before oh we've got a bite I think yeah so I'm just watching Ferruja and um, Ian So intermittently, better just have a check on this person. 11.94 on the rabbit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just develop the night here. Oh, they're moving a bit swift. Shall we go for the exchange of the bishop this time, rather than pushing the pawn? I usually preserve the bishop's done. I usually just push the pawn here if that type of thing happens. But we'll go and see if we're going to exchange the bishops off on this one. So I'm not too sure who is going to potentially win this um, candidates thing. Nakamura looks very serious lately. Um, I've not seen him look like this before in any of the types of competitions I've seen him in. He looks really focused, so he may he may come out and surprise people. And let's focus on this game. So they've moved the bishop back, so lost a bit of tempo. Shall we? Um, feel like pushing this. Feel like pushing that. Well, I'm going to push this pawn. It's a bit of a delayed movement, actually, because as we know, we like to get castled. Okay, and the thing is, I can't go and champion anything because none of my pieces are supporting the attacks on the pawns. So he's going to look to come and sit here. Okay, I'm going to open up the dark square bishop. And he's castled, so he's going for king safety. I'm going to bring our bishop here. And then get castled whilst I'm focusing on this game. So they're going for a fianchetto looking thing, but the bishop's on the outside. So I'm not too sure really what that was. I'm going to castle king safety. So I'm a bit jumbled up here in the centre. Now, as you know, we want to try and explode and open the centre up. So potentially trying to work around it. The screen's cut off the board a little bit. It's annoying when that happens. I wonder if I can just make it... There we go. Queen's down. What is their plan? It's looking to come this direction here. Shall we just attack for now? Just attack through the centre, see if we can get rid of these pawns. This area is kind of weak, but how do we get to it? That is the question. <clears throat> so it's bouncing with the knight. Can touch onto the queen or just take the pawn. Develop the knight first. I'm actually going to develop the knight first. Although that really and truly might have been trapping the queen. Missed opportunity. But if we had gone, his knight probably would have taken. Yeah, so he's realised that his queen could have got trapped there. So we've missed an opportunity. Yeah, that was a big opportunity missed. So I'm going to bring the queen here for an exchange. It's because I'm looking at the television as well. <laughs> um, but it's not a blitz thing. It's just that I'm looking at their evaluation. See, it's gone back up again. So... We're going to win the knight then. Yep, because the knight will take the pawn. So it's a slow incremental creeping position that we've got. Oh, I thought we had it trapped. Damn, I didn't realise it could go there. Okay, I think we still have it trapped, but yeah, we still have it trapped. Because it doesn't have anywhere else to go, so it's going to have to take the bishop. 
slow incremental movements towards trying to trying to basically take a higher piece off the board but try not to lose my position either just keeping a position as neat as possible it's not saying it's a winning thing but we're attempting got pieces nicely working together especially on this area so I don't think we've done ourselves an injustice there maybe an earlier attack with the pawn might have sufficed but either way we weren't, we're not losing out at the moment so he does take, so we can take with the queen or take with the knight taking with the knight puts us onto this pawn but the knight is defending at the minute taking with the queen puts us onto this but then he can just drop his pawn and attack I suppose he can do the same thing on that side so I'm going to just take with the knight probably expect this, maybe the knight jumps here yeah okay so at least the knight can jump here attacking another piece it's not interested in that so we do have this but then one of his rooks is going to come here and they'll face off our queen so if we took with the queen then we're on the bishop but then the knight is protecting the bishop so it might be the case of it might potentially be a poison pawn so we might have to just not bother taking that pawn I don't think it's going to be worth us we go here, rook comes but then we could take the knight off the board his rook comes down, takes this pawn ok, I think that's what we'll do So always very mindful of yes yeah, so the rook does come and attack so we can take the knight here but queen's got all this diagonal to actually be safe he's obviously going to take the pawn as a bit of compensation so the knight can take the bishop rook takes so i think that is pretty straightforward we'll take here because we're kind of upper material at the moment this pawn doesn't have any protection but the rook obviously is going to take so it'll be protecting the pawn so we don't do a knee jerk reaction and whoa steady on so he's attacking our bishop, our bishop is protected by the knight our knight can take the bishop and put a check on his king and escape the attack from the rook <coughs> okay so we can take this pawn here and attack their rook I need to not go into that rope fashion though I should talk it through first so they do take but it's defended by the knight and the opponents resign